Uh, what's going on in the oil market uh, is that demand is the real headwind out there. Uh, because of the weak economy, oil demand is collapsing, especially in the developed world, uh, whereas the developing world is holding up a lot better. Um, at the same time, uh, there's a floor under the crude oil market, uh, probably near the recent lows, uh, and that's really been created by supply. Um, last week um, in, uh, in London, a speech made by a number of OPEC uh, ministers, and one th thing they said is of the 150 oil uh, and uh, natural gas production developments, scheduled for the next four years within OPEC, 35 have already been delayed by at least four years. Uh, so what that means is that's less supply coming in the future. Uh, outside of OPEC, uh, the situation is even more grim. Uh, at 40 or $50 oil, uh, most marginal oil projects in the United States, uh, what we would call uh, stripper wells or mature wells, are uneconomic at current prices and therefore are being shut in. Uh, we just had a major uh, uh, mature oil field uh, in Florida, in northern Florida, in the panhandle of Florida, shut in. Uh, so that's an ongoing uh, theme I think you're going to see uh, throughout, as we move throughout this year. Right now, demand is the focus, is a major headwind. Uh, but as we get into the back half of 2009, I think you're going to see supply come down so sharply uh, that it's going to start to push oil prices uh, back up again. Uh, the $70 to $80 a barrel range is really the key level for oil. Above that range, it encourages companies to invest in new production. Below that range, you're going to see continued drop-offs in supply. Uh, the longer we stay depressed, the higher the eventual spike's going to be. Uh, so how do we play that uh, right now uh, in, in the energy markets? Well, really, you want to focus on uh, some of the big names out there um, you know, that have the wherewithal to survive the downturn and are trading it, in many cases, uh, the lowest valuations in at least uh, 15 years. Uh, you know, a, couple of, uh, a couple of areas to look at. Uh, oil field services, probably the most depressed area of the, uh, of the oil and natural gas industry right now. Um, these are companies that provide necessary services involved in the production or drilling for oil. Um, basically, uh, these, are, these are companies that are going to see an uptick uh, as soon as spending stabilizes in the oil field space, uh, which I expect towards the end of this year. Another more defensive area to keep an eye on uh, uh, would, would be some of the, uh, the uh, master limited partnerships. Uh, which are basically involved primarily uh, in midstream uh, operations, and that would be owning things like pipelines. These really aren't commodity sensitive whatsoever. Uh, basically, they get paid a toll or a fee for moving oil or natural gas uh, through their pipelines. One of our longtime favorites there has been Enterprise Products Partners, symbol is EPD. A very simple business, uh, yields almost 10% at the current time. And in fact, I would expect them to actually increase uh, their, their payout, their dividend, or their distributions over the course of the coming year, not actually have to cut them. Uh, and that's a very, very stable business, again, because they're mainly paid a fee based on the volumes of oil or natural gas moved, uh, rather than the value uh, of the oil or natural gas that moves through their pipelines. Uh, in Enterprise's case, they own um, some of the most important, crucial uh, natural gas and natural gas liquids pipelines in the United States. So that's a little wrap-up of what I see coming for the market and the economy. Uh, and some of my favorite sectors. Uh, look forward to uh, talking to you again soon.